Good morning from the Riviera Resort. Today is the grand opening and we're here for a media event to see the grand opening celebration. But because it is a new resort, you guys know we're gonna do a full tour and see as much of it as we can see. So let's head inside, get checked in, and then start the tour. Just having a quick overview here at the front entrance. It's very nice looking, very European, which I know that's the aesthetic that they were going for, but it looks good. And it's also all decorated for the holidays too. Before we head inside, I wanted to show you guys the little hidden Mickeys on the railing. All right, let's do it. Let's head inside the lobby. Welcome home. So as we walk into the lobby, here is the view. It's beautiful. Look at that chandelier. They're all decorated for the holidays. Over to the left is La Boutique, the gift shop. There's La Petite Cafe, which is kind of like a coffee shop, but you can get little pastries in there too. We've got a big window overlooking the lake outside of Caribbean Beach. Got a DVC desk over here. And then we've got the check-in desks as well as Bell Services. And so you guys know, as soon as you check in, you head up to your room. So we were able to get a room tour, a couple of room tours here with the media event. So let's go up and have a look at the rooms. So we are headed down to the Tower Studios. This is just, I wanted to give you guys a look at some of the hallways through the resort. Back here by the elevators, just off the lobby, if you look at the carpet here, it's the Fab Five. So we've got Pluto here. We got Mickey. We got Minnie. We got Donald, and then we got Goofy over here. Such a neat detail. So the first room that we're heading into is a tower studio. And this is actually a lot smaller than I thought it was gonna be. But it is very nice, but this is kind of it. So you've got a living area with a and they're not calling it a Murphy bed, but this is like a couch that folds down into a bed. And I'll show you, they have the other room with the bed folded down so we can look inside and see it. The water isn't normally there. That's just for uh, the media to come in here and get a drink of water. Got a microwave, toaster, can opener, some cutlery and some silverware. The little refrigerator down here. Some nice drawers here. Of course, lighting ice bucket. Like I said, this is where the bed is behind here. Got some little ottomans that have some, some storage inside there. And you can use this as like a, a seating tray or flip it over and use this as a table. You got a little desk area here with the coffee maker. What's inside these drawers? Ooh, some very deep drawers. Do they have the USBs? They do, USB chargers. A very nice view. We have some artwork here from Aristocats. A little balcony out there. This is also a smart TV, so you can cast from your phone to the TV. And then we head into the bathroom. Nice big sink. Hair dryer, of course. The shower is actually very large with a rainfall shower head. And then in here is a closet with an ironing board, a little fold up basket because you can do your laundry here. That's a very brilliant idea for a basket. You got an iron, extra pillows. And then that's it. That's the whole room. They do have a little makeup mirror there. That's nice. Hello everybody. But yeah, there is the entire room. And now I'll head next door and show you guys the room with the bed pulled down. So here's the room with the bed pulled down and the ottomans moved out of the way. The room actually feels bigger with the bed pulled down, which is interesting. And they have a Mary Blair style painting behind the bed. They also have little charging spots inside of the bed there. So you can put your phone in there at night and you can see they've got plugs and chargers. Wow, this bed is super soft too. This com this like blanket is, is fuzzy. It's very nice. But that's it. This was the Tower Studio. Pretty nice, but also very small. So all of the artwork around the resort is based off of Disney characters, but in the style of the masters. So this is like an oil painting from Tangled. Now we are heading into a one bedroom and this is a great deal larger than that studio. 
So as soon as you walk in, you've got some coat racks. A nice, I don't think that you could really use this mirror to check your appearance because it's like tarnished, old world, old worldy looking. A little spot to put your keys here. A little storage area as soon as you walk in. And then you head into the main living area with the little kitchenette area here. You got a full size refrigerator. You got a stove and a microwave. Coffee maker, full size coffee maker too. Dishwasher. Of course, all the amenities of silverware and plates and cups and things like that. And then there's a bed here underneath the TV with Mickey and Pluto over top of the Riviera. Of course, a smart TV. This over here is also a bed, just like we saw in the other room with the Mary Blair Peter Pan behind it. And you can see this whole couch. You don't actually have to take any of the cushions or anything off. You just open it up and that's a bed there. Nice little seating area here. Some extra storage underneath the seating area. Lots and lots of storage all over the place. Lots of USB plugs everywhere. These are actually very nice because they're cut out so that you can use them in bed. So once you fold the bed down, these will slide underneath the bed and you can have a little table there for like your breakfast in bed. Storage underneath the ottomans. And this can be flipped over to be used as like a TV tray. What's this? This is a different type of drawer. This is a trash can. Okay. And then from there, we head into, of course, they've got a balcony. And this is a preferred view, which looks out over top of the grounds with a beautiful view of the Caribbean Beach Resort. And then there's a balcony. And then we head into the bedroom, which has full size. This is a, this looks like a king size bed. Lots and lots more storage. Of course, the artwork with the Aristocats. Nice full size mirror. This is the mirror you'd want to use to get ready. Closet here. There is so much storage in here because as with all DVC properties, these would be considered extended stay. So you would stay here longer than just a couple of days. You got another entrance out to the balcony over here. Then we head into the bathroom. You got a tub here. This is a bubbly tub. Controls on the inside there. A single sink, but a lot of countertop room. More storage, of course. And then another sink in here with the toilet and the shower. Nice rainfall shower head. Some art here based on the princess and the frog. There is some storage underneath the sink here. I don't know what you would use that for, but you could hang a, hang a, a towel there. Got the laundry room over here, the laundry facility. Full washer and dryer. And then in this closet, you've got the, the vacuum, the ironing board. Uh, that's a little roll away crib, a dustpan and a broom, more blankets, iron, ironing board. You've got a high chair and you've got a safe. So that was it. That is the one bedroom room here. Lots of storage space. It's very nice too. I would stay in here. I don't know that I would stay in the studio room. That was a little bit too small for me, but I could see if just two people are coming, like without kids, I could see them staying in something that small, but this is very nice. So now that we've seen a couple of rooms and we're back here at the lobby, I think it's time that we check out La Petite Cafe and La Boutique. So our first stop, La Petite Cafe. We've got hours from 6 a.m. till 10 p.m. Let's see what they have on the menu. Of course, you can get coffee, espressos, iced coffee, hot teas, as well as some pastries down here. This banana bread looks amazing. This chocolate croissant looks really good. Everything looks delicious. We've got some lemon madeleines and a blueberry muffin. Inside of La Petite Cafe, there's no context to this, but they have what look like vintage plates with Mickey Mouse painted on them, doing all sorts of different activities. What is he doing here? What, what is he doing? Just eating, playing the saxophone. He caught a rabbit, I guess. There are 40 pieces of art 
of 40 unique pieces of art that have been made for this resort. And this is one of them. You can see there's La Petite Cafe right there. And I like that this looks like Starry Night. And right next to La Petite Cafe is La Boutique, which is the gift shop here in the lobby of the Riviera Resort. It's not the biggest gift shop, but it's about the same as every other resort gift shop where you can buy sodas and things like that, shirts. They have their own Riviera merch here too. Look at that. How much is this? $34.99. I like that. It's pretty. I wonder if this would stay if you washed the shirt. They also have some Riviera specific ears. These are awesome. I like the design and everything kind of reminds me of Lily Pulitzer, doesn't it? Like all the different colors. So once again, these ears are $29.99 specific to the Riviera. For $21.99, you can get a plush of the characters from Il Topolino. So you've got Mickey as a painter, you've got Minnie as a poet, you've got Donald as a sculptor, and you've got Daisy as a dancer. For $74.99, you can have your own Riviera dress. And they have a Riviera suitcase? Wow, you gotta really love this resort. $199 for a Riviera suitcase. For $17.99, they've got a Riviera holiday pin. It's pretty interesting. I like that. I like this Mickey and Minnie here too. Here's some more of the artwork that they have made specifically for this resort. And they have a painting of the resort. They have a machine here where you can buy prints from the Riviera. So any piece of artwork that you've seen around the resort, it looks like you can buy it. Wow. Visitors in the meadow. This is pretty neat. So how much is it if I bought it on a canvas? Huge. $200. If I, I add a frame to it too. Hello? There it is. $325 for that aristocrats. So La Boutique is where you would come to get snacks, anything you may have forgotten on your vacation, Advil and things like that. Because this is a DVC resort and they have refrigerators and ovens and things, you can buy things to make sandwiches, and they also have frozen items here, so you could get like sausages or chicken margarita balsamic, tater tots, frozen pizzas, stuff like that. They also have a lot of DVC or Disney Vacation Club member merch. You can get a Loungefly mini backpack. How much is this? It's smaller than a normal backpack, but not as small as the small backpack, $65.99. They've got DVC ears, $29.99. They have a DVC spirit jersey, which once, oh here, $64.99. And they have a DVC button down shirt. This is awesome, I like this one a lot. How much is this? $59.99. For $15.99, here is another Riviera pin. So from La Boutique, we're just gonna kinda wander around the resort now. See what we can find. Let's head in this direction. So we're just kind of passing around the outside of La Petite Cafe and we're coming up on Voyager's Lounge. So you guys remember when I was showing you guys the menu for La Petite Cafe, that's it right there. And this is Voyager's Lounge, which just seems like a nice quiet area to hang out. It's like a library. Got some vintage looking board games in here. And just some desks and things to hang out. Got a case with some vintage looking things that Walt may have owned. Like this would be a hat that Walt would have worn. A Mickey plush from when Walt was traveling the world. Some pictures of Walt and Lillian with the Mickey plush. And then this looks like a postcard from Walt to his mom. So from Voyager's Lounge, turning down this hallway, got some pictures of Walt as he traveled the world. And then I believe that we are just heading a little bit further into the resort. Wow, look at Walt looking dapper right here. Whoa. Walt in the bathing suit. So down this hallway is the lobby and you can see the Voyager's Lounge there and La Petite Cafe is also on the right. And we are turning in this direction. And I believe that down here is just rooms. Yeah, so this is where elevators and other rooms are down here. There's also an ATM right here. 
So I think we're gonna head back to the lobby and head downstairs to have a look at some of the restaurants. So back in the lobby facing La Petite Cafe, and if we turn in this direction, there is a large picture window that looks out over top of the lake out behind Caribbean Beach. There's also a set of stairs there, so we're gonna go down those stairs and have a look down on the first floor. So now we are headed down the stairs and there's a sign here that says dining and Riviera pool as well as Bar Riva. So let's see what we have for dining down here. Also, beautiful view outside. Oh, there's another sign here that says Disney Skyliner and Athletique Fitness, as well as Boo Soule Pool. Down at the bottom of the stairs is airline check-in, where you can come and check in for your flight. That way you don't have to do it on the phone or on the internet. It's got a little spot here. Oh, they've got like a hidden Christmas tree back here. Oh, nice. It's a little spot where you can check in for your flight. All right, let's see what they have down here for dining. Well, they have a lot of different posters from the Disney movies. This one's in French. Oh no, I guess it's just in French and Italian. I like seeing the Disney movie names in other languages. So here at the end of the hallway, we turn and we find some elevators and we find Primo Piatto, which I believe is their quick service restaurant here at the resort. Here's a quick look at the menu for Primo Piatto. Looks pretty darn good. That Riviera burger sounds delicious. You missed that, Deborah. This is very nice. Sounds good. For a quick service? Wow. I feel like this is like next level quick service. Right as soon as you walk into Primo Piatto, they have a grab and go section where you can get some artisan gelato. They got a microwave and a toaster if you need it some chips, some drinks, some beers, some wines, various other grab-and-go things. Looks like we've got some tuna nichois salad, charcuterie, some grab-and-go sandwiches down here. And then that's what the toaster is for. You can get the bagel. Anything that you saw at the La Petite Cafe. Ooh, I like this. I like that, that cookie right there. Amazing. And then from the grab and go section, we turn into the main restaurant. So as we head into Primo Piatto, here's how it works. You would pick what you want off the menu and order it here. And the menu is the same as we saw out in the hallway. And then after you've placed your order, they give you a tracker. Oh, this is where you do mobile order pickup too as well. So they give you a tracker and you set that on your table. And then once it's ready, they call your name and I believe they'll bring it to you, but this is where the food comes out, an open kitchen. It's pretty interesting to see a quick service open kitchen. And yeah, they bring the food out to you. Hello. <laughs> wow. It looks so delicious. Ooh. Here's a look at the seating area for Primo Piatto. And then we head outside right here, out the back door. And you can see we're facing right at the pool. This is the Riviera pool. Over there is the Cebu Play splash pad. And then down here is the Beau Soule adults only pool. Right outside of Primo Piatto, we've got a full overview of the entire resort, as well as a bocce court and a formal lawn. I would imagine they could do weddings out here too. A beautiful view of the gondolas, the Skyliner going by. And if we turn back to Primo Piatto, and we turn to our right, or left if you were coming out the door, we head to Bar Riva, which is the outdoor bar. I like that they have this mural inside of Bar Riva and they have that Disney cruise line there. We're on the Riviera. And this is an overview of Bar Riva. I wanted to show you guys a look at the menu here. Got some cocktails. Some salads, some hot and cold sandwiches. Of course, chicken wings. A couple of desserts. This sort of seems like the same type of, same thing that's over at Primo Piatto. Sangrias, frozen cocktails, wines and beers. Pretty nice little, Nice little spread here at Bar Riva. Just kind of looking back at the resort here and giving you guys a little bit of wayfinding. So right around the corner here is the main lobby. Got Primo Piatto here, Bar Riva. And then as we turn, we're looking at 
the splash pad, which is called Sivu Play. And then here's the slide that's at the Riviera pool. Got a hot tub over here. And then we're turning a little bit further and we're actually gonna head back this way because if we continue down this path, we'll be heading towards Caribbean Beach. And there is a nice little sand beach between the two, very quiet and secluded. And then this is Caribbean Beach right there. And we're turning back. Sivu Play right here, the Riviera pool slide. You can see the Skyliner back there. And now we're gonna head back in this direction to explore a little bit more of the resort. Before we head back that way, I did wanna show you guys, there is a walkway that leads you around the waterfront here. So you could have a nice waterfront walk. Just a little bit of wayfinding. We're looking back at Primo Piatto. This is the Riviera pool. We've got lots and lots of seating and games out here. It looks like you can play cornhole. Looks like there's a gelato stand out by the pool too. That's pretty interesting. I'm gonna go check that out. Here's a quick look at the Riviera pool. We've got a zero entry here. And then there's the slide, a nice little swirly slide. It's a very shallow pool though, only four feet at the deepest at the end of the slide. There is a Vivoli Il Gelato stand out by the pool. Also available at Disney Springs. Here are the different flavors that you can get and the cost of it. So we just came out of the Riviera pool, turning past Beausole pool, They've got some very nice cafe tables out here on the waterfront, overlooking the Skyliner. I wanna take a quick peek down this little walkway here next to the water before going and checking out Beausole and then some of the other amenities here at the Riviera. I feel like this resort is gigantic. Having a look back at the lobby again, we're headed back down this little walkway that goes along the waterfront. There's a fire pit out here. And then you can look over at Caribbean Beach right there too. So we're headed a little bit further in. They've got some sort of inflatable thing going on over here. What's this? So this is a giant foot snooker. Play it just like regular pool, but with soccer balls. And they said that every morning at 10, they're going to have giant lawn activities like this every morning. They said that when they were doing some investigating about the Riviera, they saw people playing this. So they're like, we need to have that. I'll just to give you guys some wayfinding. It's on the other side of the Riviera pool. Wow. This is amazing. So the other thing that happens here where they've got the giant snooker, this is where they play their movies. They play a movie every night. Right here they have a big inflatable screen that goes here. You can see the surround sound and everything. And tonight they're playing Ratatouille. And we're turning and we're gonna look over at Beausole Pool. So here's a look at Beausole, which is a pool that is geared more towards adults. It's very nice. And then we're gonna head over to this little archway right here. That will lead us to the Skyliner station. There's a map here with the running trail that takes you all the way around Caribbean Beach, about 1.22 miles. But that right there is the archway that we're heading through to get to the Skyliner. So another wayfinding point, we are just on the other side of Beausole. That right there is the main lobby. And uh, a little bit later in the video, I'll show you guys the fitness center, which is kind of in this area. But we are turning, looking back at the building here, Nice little planter here. And we're going to go through this archway right here. Look at how beautiful this is. A gigantic tangled mosaic. These are all cut tiles. Wow. Look at this. Oh, and then there's Rapunzel's tower over there. And then as we get towards the end of the archway, there is the entrance to the Disney Skyliner and we've got one more mosaic here that's based around Peter Pan. Is that a hidden Mickey in the clouds right there? Amazing, these are all hand cut tiles. Hey look kids, it's Big Ben. So from this archway here that leads to the Skyliner, we are turning back towards the main lobby and you can see just over top of the trees here, that's the main lobby right there. This is the Beau Soule pool. We're gonna head over here because I believe that the fitness center is right there. Once again, archway for the Skyliner, an athletique fitness center. Let's see if we can peek through the windows here, see if there's anything we can see. Yeah, got a lot of machines back there, some rowing machines, some bicycle machines, some treadmills. And they also have some free weights and some weightlifting machines back there. And we are back at the front lobby and we've got one more place to go and that's Topolino's Terrace. So back in the lobby and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the left down here just past La Petite Cafe and we're headed down this hallway over here looking for the elevators. 
before I leave, as I was walking past La Petite Cafe, they set out some new treats. Look at that. That is awesome. All right, I made it into the elevator. Hopefully we'll be able to look around at Topolino because they are closed for lunch. They're only open for breakfast and dinner and it's past that time now. We'll see what happens. So even though it's not open because today is the opening day, they're letting us come in and have a look around. So here's where you would check in. They've got lots of wines available over here. They have house-made noodles. They've got some examples of them over here. Lots of different cheeses. And then some olive oil. So let's have a look around the restaurant. So once again, this is in the morning character breakfast and signature dining at night. Another open kitchen. They're getting prepped for tonight. The very nice. And the views out the windows are amazing. And of course, a full bar over here. Let's have a look out on the balcony. I like that the chandelier kind of looks like noodles hanging from the ceiling. Oh, wow. This balcony is amazing. And it's so nice outside right now. Got a beautiful view of Caribbean Beach Resort. See the Skyliner going off. See Galaxy's Edge right there? You see these these little spires right here? That's the Galaxy's Edge. Tower of Terror. Expedition Everest we can see in Pandora. And then Epcot over here. When I was on the Skyliner, I could see Magic Kingdom. I just can't place it right now on the skyline. This is amazing. And plus we get a pretty good overview of the resort. There is Beausole Pool. The lawn, the formal lawn out there. That's the main lobby. We've got the Riviera pool with the slide. The movie lawn out there. The fire pit. After looking it up on a map, it seems like Magic Kingdom's kind of behind the building over here, so we can't really see it. But just past the top of the building over there would be Magic Kingdom. So I bet you you could still see the fireworks from up here. So you could see every single fireworks spectacular, and I feel like possibly you'd be able to see Epcot matched with Magic Kingdom. Not matched with, but like at the same time as Magic Kingdom. They also have the ability to have a bar outside on this patio. This would be very nice at night with these this cafe lighting and everything. Wow, I want to come up here and eat. So before we leave, I wanted to show you guys the menu for Topolino's Terrace. These are all the cocktails, the beers, and the ciders, and the wines. And then we've got the antipasto, starters, the handcrafted pastas, seafood and meats. I'm wondering what I would get. The filet for 54, not terrible. Somebody said that the lamb shank is delicious, $46. And I also said the bouillabaisse was good, so 48. This is a signature restaurant, so a little bit more expensive. Only breakfast is character dining and then nighttime, this is a signature dining experience. And here are the hours for Topolino Terrace. So there you have it. That was our trip out to Disney's Riviera Resort for a media day. Just kind of have a look around, do a full tour. I think we saw everything that there was to offer and there's kind of a lot. And it's a beautiful resort as well. I think that I really enjoyed the look of the rooms. I enjoy the look of the lobby. The lobby did seem small. Those studio rooms were very small, but all in all, the restaurant's nice. The view is nice. The amenities are nice. Kind of like it. I want to stay here one day. And if we come back, we'll bring you guys along so you guys can see what the experience at the Riviera is like. But with that being said, we are off. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We're the Richardsons, and now it's time to pay the price.